subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video I'll explain the concept of a refrigerator and also give the formula of coefficient of performance of the refrigerator. For that, let's get started. Now, here I had drawn a diagram of a simple refrigerator. A refrigerator is basically a work consuming device or a work consuming machine that is without any work input, it cannot give the output. So for that, here I have shown an arrow indicating the work input W which is given to the refrigerator. And now what happens, this refrigerator is going to extract heat from the low temperature reservoir because here we have two reservoirs one is source other is sink and always what happens is the source is having a greater temperature compared to the sink so the refrigerator is taking or extracting heat from the sink and delivering it to the source and by this time this work input is the difference between q1 and q2 that is the heat which is rejected to the source is q1 minus the heat which is absorbed by the refrigerator is q2 and now once we have understood the functioning of this refrigerator it can also be said that it is an air conditioner also i'll write the formula of cop that is the coefficient of performance Coefficient of performance that is COP for the refrigerator, I'll denote it with a suffix R. Now COP is similar to efficiency, the only difference being that COP is just a number whereas efficiency is expressed in the form of percentage. So COP is given by the formula, it is output upon input. In case of refrigerator, the output is the desired effect, which is also called as the refrigeration effect and the input is the work input. Now how to get the desired effect? For that, whenever we have source and sink and there is a refrigerator, which is maintaining a continuously low temperature we have to imagine that we are into the sink because we are going to feel the desired effect of the refrigerator or the refrigeration effect of an air conditioner when we are into the low temperature reservoir so this low temperature reservoir would be observing the desired effect or the refrigeration effect both are same denoted by re so basically the cop of the refrigerator is refrigeration effect upon w and this high temperature reservoir or source is the atmosphere that is t2 or sink is the room in which there is the refrigerator or an ac whereas the source indicates the atmosphere or the external conditions so when I write the COP of the refrigerator, the refrigeration effect is felt into the sink and it is taking heat Q2 from the sink. So COP will become the heat taken which is Q2 upon work input that is W. Therefore COP of the refrigerator will be Q2 upon W is Q1 minus Q2. Now this formula of is in the form of the heat extracted from the sink and heat given out or rejected to the source. Same formula can be written in the form of 
temperatures that is T2 upon T1 minus T2. Now how this Q2 and T2 like I have replaced the terms which are there in terms of heat in terms of temperature and why is it so because since heat can be said like it is given by the formula if it is Q2 then it is M C which is the specific heat it would be for the refrigerant so I am denoting it by C and here it is having temperature T2 similarly Q1 would be M C T1 and when I put the values over here so COP would be in the numerator it would be M C T2 in the denominator M C T1 minus M C T2 so here it would be M C T2 divided by M C is common so it is T1 minus T2 and after the cancellation I am getting the same result as I have shown here so in this video we have seen how to get the COP of a refrigerator at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching